Alright, hit the button. really don't want to do this video. Um, this all isn't funny at all <laughs> anymore, uh, if it ever was, right? Um, yeah, um, you know, the subject of rape and all the other negative things that happen in the relationship between men and women and, uh, you know, these buffoons, 30 thumbs up for a video that's just so fucking ignorant and such a rationalization and such a desperate rationalization that you're, you know, if, if, if I were you and you were a woman, um, yeah, I'd be afraid, um, very afraid. Um, that they, you know, if men who are, one assumes not, um, takers and dangerous have to resort to these kinds of rationalizations, you're just saying, well, what is in their head? Um, why would they be making defenses for this shit? You know, there's no good answer to that question. So, um, but this is this corner of YouTube, and as I have speculated, it's just a bunch of assholes. <laughs> and uh, the evidence is in these numbers. 30, zero. For a profoundly ignorant video. I mean, just, you can't just call it too stupid. I mean, it's, it's more than too stupid. So anyway, I'll play the first couple of minutes right through, and then I'll do the jump. Thing. But, you know, the first three or four clips, you get the message that this guy just has no clue and doesn't care to get a clue. Well, I noticed that Gary already made a response video to me. Now, I'm still operating under time constraints, and I'm just going to respond to as many points as I can. Yeah, well, we could have done without that, but yes, yes, we all have time restraints. Yes. Before I hit 15 minutes, if you don't like that, Gary, you can take it up. Uh, I don't really care. Yeah, no, you get to the, you show your ignorance right away, so I don't need to even listen to the second half of your video. With your buddy Ruckus-like and her bogus copyright claim. Uh, well, whatever, bogus, smogus. I mean, the point is, is that you should be polite when you use somebody else's clip, and you obviously weren't polite when you used her clip. You didn't fairly use her clip for informative purposes. You used it for mocking purposes. You changed the color of her skin, which really isn't your right. Let's go. Um, but anyway, so in overview, he basically says, I don't care. And he says, you're like some kind of emo... Uh, sexist emo, um, if you use your imagination to say, gee, I wouldn't like to be in this physically inferior position in relationships where, yeah, I had the hole and the guy had the stick kind of thing. And then I can imagine that that's a pretty disadvantaged position to be in, where you have to be mindful of all of these concerns about your welfare, where I have never been with a woman that could beat me up, <laughs> that in any way posed any... Uh... Yeah, and I guess I needed to add to this little statement, you know, about not being... And I haven't been with a woman who wanted to just steal some goodies, um, either. So I didn't go to, say, uh, a, 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 you know, a 500-pound prostitute or something, bodybuilder or something. Um, because, yeah, that would be stupid. You know, somebody who has a malicious intent. And we know that most men have a pretty malicious intent. I mean, a penis is a pretty malicious object in the universe. Um, uh, selfish, anyway. Selfish as fuck. It will, it will rob you blind if it can. And, and that's just the fact here that somebody should, should, these men should be able to acknowledge. And they're too big a, yeah, they have too little. To, they don't even understand what penises are. Uh, overt physical threat. Overt being the operative word. Don't you remember the part where I mentioned how a woman could easily kill me by poisoning me? Uh, or right, me? right, right. How does she get what? She, how does she get goodies by doing that? So again, you're just ignoring the subject, right? We know that men have advantage to go and steal from women, and that um, sometimes the stealing can go wrong enough where they'll kill them, and this happens every day, and women are harmed every day and you're just glibly stepping right past that absolute fact that this happens to women all the time and you're just pretending that's not the truth and that somehow men 
are also in jeopardy, and they're not at jeopardy. Uh, the only, the only, look, the only time a woman's probably going to kill you is if you marry her. Um, <laughs> so, you know, your odds in the dating situation, uh, and that's what this subject is about, is the, you know, getting together thing between men and women, and how you do that appropriately and respectfully and c with some consideration for the woman's circumstance. Um, yeah, so what's the odds of, you know, single men getting taken down by women? Oh, that's about zero, right? I think the only psycho killer women were ex-prostitutes, and they sort of had a personal incentive. My sleep, yeah. If I'm on my feet and alert, a woman has zero chance of taking this motherfucker down. But do you really think that women are so goddamn stupid that they're not aware of that and they're not going to use slightly less overt methods? Again, slightly, oh, they're not going to use slightly overt methods to do what? Again, they don't want, okay, uh, to, to stick their cunt on your dick and then run away. That, you know, that's your plan. Okay, it's your plan to shit on their head and do all this other weird perverse shit that men do. Men come up with this crap, you know. Ah, yeah, I did chocolate fudge Sunday banana split last night or whatever the fuck. You're the ones come up with all this wacky crap. Because if you think they're that fucking stupid, then yes, you are a sexist. <clears throat> um. Well, yeah, if I, well, <laughs> whatever, it, it doesn't, it, label some label. Um, what you are is stupid. You're too. You're stupid in the sense you won't recognize a fact when it's an obvious fact. Uh, you don't have to do almost any research to figure out men rape, women rape, um, and who me who rapes men is men. Uh, you know, get real. And so this isn't. This is just such a bullshit. Okay, you're just you're just denying a a a, a, a harm that takes place in the world because it's somewhat associated with men's behavior and you're just such an irresponsible motherfucking cunt that wants to evade any kind of culpability for any of your behavior that you're just running away with silly rationalizations and comic evasions. Man. Yeah, man, you shouldn't even be called a man because that's not a man's behavior. You know, no macho women. Um... And that's, you know, the very nature of the relationship towards men and women, isn't it? I mean, the men are... Aggression is almost a pheromone, you know, for women in some respects. Uh, you know, confidence sometimes confused with aggression. Um, and, you know, this is just the dilemma. Yeah, so this dilemma we exist in, and you sort of concede there is a problem or a dilemma a little bit, you know, a tiny bit. You know, you call it. You're, you're calling me a sexist because I can imagine that it would be. Uh, I would be uncomfortable if I had the disadvantages in relationships that women have. Listen, Gary. I don't want to get personal here, but if you think that in relationships women have more disadvantages than men, or even equal numbers of disadvantages as men, then I seriously have to question when the last time you were. Okay. So, yeah. Yeah. So. So. Like I said, can, can you miss this subject more? I, I, I would say that being raped is a huge disadvantage, okay? There's like zero chance I'm going to get raped for my goodies. Um, zero, you know, pra as a practical matter. I mean, I, I'd like to think, oh yeah, well, somebody would want to rape me. Um, but they're really not going to, a woman's not going to go to the trouble. I mean, if it's just lying there drunk, okay, maybe, but I doubt it. <laughs> you know, and we know it doesn't even work that way anyway, that men aren't as you, men have very little utility passed out and drunk. They don't have much use when they're sober and, and, and coherent, as you're proving, um, but they have like no use drunk and passed out, where, yeah, for a man, sometimes that's just as good. And we know that's a fact too, but just keep ignoring the entire subject, ignore the truth, just lie, rationalize. For what purpose to defend the worst character traits that men have? That's just so disgusting. I mean, again, and, and you know, for all these assholes. I mean, you really just can't imagine how different the world is for women. You know, they can't, you know, unless they have a nice killer dog or something, they can't just go for a walk in the woods. Every day I have a privilege that women don't have. Every fucking day I enjoy it. And you, you just can't think about that for a, just, it doesn't take much thought to just think about how women 
are in a, you know, can you imagine your car breaks down on the side of the road, okay, and let's say you have a broken arm and you can't fix it yourself or something, you know, just to, to think about the physical fact that, you know, a lot of women just don't, aren't physically able to lift a, you know, 100-pound tire and do all that crap. You can't imagine that that's, you know, that that vulnerability is something you've never had to endure. And you can't have a little bit of respect or appreciation for that. Man, you suck. I mean, you people can't suck. You just already you suck so much. I mean, I'm just like, yeah, fuck. I hated you before. And now, since this subject came up, man, I, I hate you so fucking much. And I guess I have to, I, you know, I guess just to be an irritant, I'll have to make a bunch of feminist videos. I mean, damn, this just sucks. Just sucks. That this is a credible speaker on YouTube. Fuck. In a relationship, because you're obviously fucking ignorant. Uh, yeah, right, um, <clears throat> right. You, and you're going to tell me you've had a conversation with a real woman, you know, some sort of real woman, um, average, let's just even say, uh, where you actually let her talk about the fact of how you asked her something like, "How do you feel when you know you're alone?" Um, at night or something in a vulnerable position. Yeah, I don't think you've asked the question. I don't think you care for the answer. Um, you just, you're just just a piece of suck. You know, because I'm somehow... Oh, I'm recognizing reality. I'm not insulting women by saying I understand that I wouldn't like being, you know, physically weaker. Well, Gary, you're physically weaker than I am. Do you fear me? So, this is a rational response to the, like I said, the huge problem of the fact that this is how women get raped, is because they are physically weaker. And so, just ignore the subject, and do this glib crap, where I should be afraid of somebody on the internet. Uh, no, I'm not in a relationship with you. You're not in my living room, are you, fuckhead? I don't have to trust you, do I, shit for brain? No, I don't have to do any of that crap. And I certainly don't want anything from you, or I don't want you even near me. Um, let's say that you were actually physically intimidating, which you're not. You got a little tiny head. Um, but let's say I was in the woods and there was some 300-pound guy with his shotgun. Uh, you know, a nice big beard even, we could say. You know, funky hat. Would I be afraid? Yeah. I mean, I, I would be averse. I would try to go as far around it as possible, perhaps. Um, but certainly we can understand the predator-prey relationship and its existence in reality. And the, the truth is, is, is that's how it is for women. Okay, they're walking around with a bunch of 300-pound guys with potentially all kinds of bad gun. Do you? I'm going to say you probably don't. So... Your argument holds no water. Oh, see? <laughs> right. And again, so so let's say that you were a 300-pound guy who wasn't, who didn't confuse fat with muscle cells and was actually capable of doing real harm to me. And he did this face thing at me. <clears throat> um, yeah, maybe I could be. I, I, maybe I, I would say, yeah, I, I'm sort of afraid. That's right. I don't want this guy mad at me. I don't want this guy to have some reason to do me harm because I turned him down or I told him his, you know, butt is fat. I don't want that. As a fact. Um, but anyway, um, you know, and so all, all your, all, all, the only, all, this whole thing starts because, you know, a few women complain that, you know, men are really, really, really ignorant in some of the stuff they do and not recognizing that they can't just walk up to you and say, trust me, because that doesn't mean anything. You know, because, yes. Well, this was a nice speech, but we won't play it again. But, yeah, it was a good speech. Um, so then he's going to do this solution thing, I believe. This motherfucker's dangerous. Oh, Mr. Rational, go ahead and lay that plan on me. Let's see how that works. Yeah, okay, I laid the plan on you. The plan is, don't be an asshole. Try to be a little bit sensitive to the circumstance, and maybe even say to assholes who are saying really crazy, stupid, ignorant shit, 
okay, that, uh, no, that's not the reality, okay, women get raped, okay, because they trust men they, they shouldn't have trusted, and we really don't want women to elevate their trust level even higher, and even higher, and even higher, because you assholes are going to keep saying it's their fault, it's their fault they got raped, okay, so, so again, you're, you know, you're just party pooper, I mean, if you had a kid today, right, kids did, you know, when I was a kid, yeah, people could let them roam free, but if you let a kid roam free today and don't have some kind of worry in your head, you've got to be an idiot. And you're saying that, yeah, women should be afraid. You know, go, yes, you have something to fear because we're not going to give a shit. We're not going to come to the rescue, quite obviously. We're not even going to acknowledge there's a problem, which makes you even more disgusting. But yeah, the big solution is that you don't talk shit on the internet. You don't glibly step over the fact of rape. Um, you don't pretend uh, women are at a huge disadvantage and say some crack shit like, um, what, are you crazy? Women at a disadvantage in dating? Oh, that's, that's, that's insane. Uh, you, know, and, and, uh, you know, and the only place where you, you whiners have all your complaints is over whatever, kid custody or some other nonsense. You don't even acknowledge that women have the burden in pregnancy and in, in creating children and all this other shit. You want to take no responsibility for anything. I don't know, you're, you're just so fucking disgusting. Where are the other intellectuals on YouTube? Can't any of you fucking asshole men stand up and say, this is such, God, this is crack shit, insane bullshit? You gutless fucking goddamn poofters. In the meantime, I would say that women have such a system. What's my evidence for this? Well, did anybody go out with Elliot Rogers? Oh, there, there you go. So, because no women were stupid enough to go out with a guy who's overtly psychopathic, he even had the maniacal laugh. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he was a cartoon character of a psychopath, and because women did that, women aren't raped. You just said it, right? Because women didn't, because women could detect that Elliot Rogers had something wrong with him, that means women aren't raped by making reasonable judgments that backfire on them. Right? Judgments that I could make, anybody could, there's, there, 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 there was nothing in the circumstance where they did something wrong except trusting somebody. Again, you're just saying to women, you better not trust men ever. Don't drink with them, don't play with them, because they're not going to take any responsibility if it goes wrong. They're going to shoot you, and they're going to walk away and say, Sorry, you know, I was just cleaning the gun, and, you know, it went off. <laughs> Too bad, bitch. Did any women say, Hey, let's, uh, why, why don't I just go out on a date with this nice swell guy? More to the point. Yeah, no, you're not even close to the point. Again, you're just denying the existence of millions of rapes. You're just saying they don't happen. That women aren't beat up. That women aren't uh, killed. You're just denying the existence of the problem. Because you're saying somehow, because Elliot Rogers was an obvious crazy fuck, that all the other rapists and pillagers and takers are that obvious. Which is idiotic, a ludicrous premise. I mean, you have no logical function, correct? You really are an idiot. No servant, just idiot, pure idiot. All the way down. All right, well, anyway, so I will play this and choose where to... I mean, really, enough has already been said, right? He has no sensitivity to the vulnerability women are in, no, no respect for the facts that women are raped and men are not raped. Uh, you know, this is, you know, in, in relationships between men and women. Um, just no respect for the facts at all. None. It's disgusting. It's disgusting. Somewhere around the 620 mark. Anyway, so you yeah, just went on a long diatribe about intuition, and that's the solution for women is, yeah, yeah, they got to do intuition exercises or something. So, again, just a complete denial of the circumstances. You know, I mean, congressmen are guilty of these crimes, all kinds of people in all kinds of positions. And, yes, the fact that some psychos are obvious certainly doesn't mean that the uh, average rapist is obvious. Um, and certainly this whole obligation, again, you're gonna, if you're going to put the obligation on women, you're going to pay a price for that because their intuition is going to be 
uh, going off all over the place and you're never going to have a circumstance where trust is going to be possible. I mean, I'm certainly, if I had a daughter, I certainly wouldn't instruct her to uh, go based on her intuition. <laughs> yeah, no, I'd say uh, get ID, Google the motherfucker to hell, uh, you know, do all that shit and never, 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 never go out to a party and have fun with males because they're not going to protect you. I got, I got to play this part just because it's so funny. All right, so this was the butched up woman part, and this is his response to that. By butched up women, you mean confident women, fearless women, women who don't tremble and piss themselves and need me to coddle them like infants. They need oh, okay. So, yeah, you, know, you could just make so many comparisons to this. So, yeah, black people shouldn't be afraid when cops shoot black people on the street for what appears to be absolutely no good reason. And semi-cops do it, too. Um, yeah, and everybody just cheers. And black people shouldn't find that goddamn offensive. And women shouldn't find this crap coming out of your fucking mouth goddamn offensive. Goddamn disgusting. I mean, men resort to, uh, you know, drugging women. This shit goes on, fucker. All right? I mean, deliberate efforts to compromise them and compromise their capacity to defend themselves. Again, because they trusted men. That's their crime. Um, I mean, this is just so ignorant, so disgusting. Ugh. Oh, let's play a more. Yes. I would prefer butched up women. Okay, so again, you just this complete denial. Yes, of course you personally would prefer to sleep with women who subject themselves routinely um, to all kinds of negative consequences um, based on intuition. You know, they turn on their intuition and say, does he have herpes? And they, they let their intuition give them the answer. Is that how it works? Oh, fuck. It's just... I, I, again, it's not that hard for me to sit there and use a little tiny bit of imagination and just say, you know, just how many crazy, crazy, you know, like whatever you call those guys, like those big, burly, you know, mountain man kind of men were just roaming around in my woods. Would I go just walking in the woods? And the answer is probably not. And I might get a dog, you know, as a, and even, I know I really don't like dogs. And that's the truth. I mean, I, that's being honest. Yeah, I, it would make me uncomfortable. You can't under, If there's bears, there's bears that are seen now and then. It does intimidate me a bit. How's my intuition going to help me? I just, intuition, well, is there a bear in the woods today? Yeah, sure. God, I mean, I fuck, you fuck you, fuck you people. I mean, you just can't, you know. Just, just get what you deserve. Get what you deserve, which is pancaked somewhere. Ugh, this clip just seems damn scary, so I'll play it. Okay, so this is the part where I'm talking about the fact that, you know, rape is disgusting, rapists shit in women's faces, do all kinds of horrible things, blah, blah, blah. Disgusting and horrible things. Funny you should say that, Gary. Uh, remember earlier when you were saying you can't just wear a sign that says, you can trust me, I'm not a psycho killer? Well, isn't that kind of like what you're doing now, only you're doing it in a kind of more subtle way? Like you're saying, I don't want to live in this world where we're shitting on women's faces. Look how empathetic I am. I'm filled with empathy and I would... I mean, is, isn't that amazing? I mean, it's, it's not really empathy. It's just, like I said, it's self-interest and simple addition. I know I wouldn't like it. And, uh, yeah, I probably acquired some kind of true empathy, some sort of emotional attachment, because I had three sisters that were pretty hot, and, yeah, they got preyed on. And, uh, yeah, and then I had relationships with some women who were hot, okay, and they got preyed on. And some of them had really horrible stories. And so, yeah, that's where I acquired my empathy. But again, I'm just using a rational argument for my own ability to imagine the circumstance. Imagine being in the position women are in and saying, shit, I wouldn't like to be in that position. Is that too complicated for you fuckers? You really can't think about what it would actually be like to be in that vulnerable position where 
any one of these fuckers can take you down in some sort of nasty ass way where you're going to have no power and there's no you're going to be saying god help me and ain't going to be no god coming to the rescue and no men had the character to sit there and say let's try to discourage this as all in, in every way we possibly can okay to give women as much to to make women feel better about the circumstance they're in and you assholes are just you know pissing on an already bad situation. God, you just suck so much. You just suck so fucking much. But really, I, I don't, you know, if, if you think what I'm speaking is uh, just crap, insincere crap, just molded because I want women to think I'm a nice guy, well, gee, my reputation on YouTube doesn't demonstrate does it, that, that, does it? I mean, you know, skanky cunt, I, I, I mean, come on. There's nothing, there's nothing innately about me that has any tone um, of feminist. And the only place it comes from is my capacity to reason, you fucking cunt. See, I use the word cunt again. It's just, that's very insensitive. So, I mean, there's a ton of insensitivities that are part of my character. All right, but the big ones I get. You know, when it matters, I can figure it out. Play the end of this one. Never hurt women. La da 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 da. Making a big fat show of it. Isn't that really just for putting up a sign saying, I ain't a serial killer yet? You live in a disheveled shack. And uh, again, the, the, that is so fucking irrelevant, right? But I don't. It's fine. If women want to. I mean, women probably should take that seriously. They should. I think they have taken it seriously, to tell you the truth, in the past. Some women have figured out, well, yeah, this guy's not going to be able to take care of business because he can't take care of his own business. So that, and that's okay with me. I can even understand that. I can recognize my flaws and accept them and say, yes, you can judge me for that. But when you're going to sit there and what, judge an argument about feminism based on where I live and how I live? Well, then you're playing a fucking game, weasel boy. You are a boy. In the middle of nowhere, mumbling about all the people you hate, I would... I bet you're writing a manifesto. Well, I bet your intuition is wrong. I bet you I wouldn't be taking from anybody. Taking. So, you know, <laughs> big difference. You're the taker, fucker. I wouldn't let you date my any sisters of mine. <laughs> so that would be my intuition to stay the fuck away from that selfish cunt. Yeah. But anyway. Moving on. See, we get to something like the subject instead of this, whatever, character assassination crap. Wow. You know, you know, unlike some movies, there's just no good part in this movie. Every single scene sucks. So he's going to do some more antics. Okay, so I just got finished doing the part where I'm saying, uh, look, this isn't much of a, uh, a helpful skill. You know, this uh, shut up bitch. Uh, you know. Uh, just go up to everybody who has a grievance and say, shut up, bitch. You're in the world. Yeah, I mean, everybody abused, everybody compromised. Yeah, shut up, shut up, shut up. And this is his response. Tell him to shut the fuck up. I, and Mendham, on the other hand, would never do that because I care about women's plight. I would never disregard their... F well, again, it's, I don't care necessarily in some sort of, like whatever way you're trying to imply here. I'm just accepting facts and saying if I had to live under those facts, if that was the fact of my life, yeah, I would notice. I would say, shit, that just compromised the fuck out of my freedom and my liberty. Gee, my world just got smaller and weaker and all of those things. And I would appreciate that difference and make a simple logical conclusion that, gee, maybe we can do something to make that a little better instead of just making it worse, motherfucker. And that's all you're doing, because you suck. Feelings, because I'm a great guy. I am. I really am. Just, he's just, he's just a stupid little... Well, anyway, um, I'll move, wait for the next bit. And crazily enough, prostitutes are slightly averse to going to the police to report their missing prostitute friends. Exactly. So you're just making my argument for me, aren't you? So, so you're saying they should make themselves a fake family or they shouldn't be a prostitute? Go acquire the family you don't have um, because 
girlfriends aren't going to be able to help you because, yeah, they're prostitutes too and they can't go to the cops. And they can't go to the cops anyway with, yes, my friend the prostitute or my daughter the prostitute. See, if they go to the cops with my daughter the prostitute, even if they bought themselves a fake family, um, you know, with, with their prostitution money, uh, their fake family can't go to the cops with, yes, my daughter the prostitute is missing. Because the cops still aren't going to care, are they? Yeah, it's just intractable. It's one of these things that, yeah, that can't be fixed. And all people are saying is maybe you should acknowledge the fact exists instead of pissing on it. I don't know why they would be like that. Yeah, well, see, now that add-on was a little bit spooky. Why would they be like that? Why would... Well, there's no point in asking the question, right? Because it's not a good reason. It might be because cops are men. And it seems you men are pretty fucking insensitive, and cops are about as low on the sensitivity scale as you can fucking get. And, yeah, they're pretty much a bunch of all wife-beaten cunts anyway, right? So why do we even have cops who have convictions for domestic violence? Why is that even possible in America? I mean, Americans can't even figure out that doesn't make sense. You shouldn't have cops who have been convicted of crimes being cops. Okay, now he's, he's blaming the justice system for not saving people from getting... I, I pointed out that even rich people get abused and raped and harmed and all that stuff, so having a great family doesn't save you. And um, so he calls it a problem with the justice system. So, well, I'm very Save anybody. But those people with families, uh, the killer was a little more likely to get caught. <clears throat> so that's his argument, is that if if... I mean, they never caught the guy who killed the girl in Barbados or whatever. She had a family and all that kind of crap. Um, <laughs> they caught O.J., you know, he, you know, but they never did anything about it. Uh, but anyway, yeah, the, moving on. All right, so this is the part with the issues again, you know, where I'm saying, okay, men have a lot of issues with women because they have penises, the penises compel them, they can't take the rejection, blah, blah, blah. We don't need to go through all that stuff, right? The wife beating, all the crap that comes out because of men's emotional problems with women, all right? That's the subject. He changes the subject to all kinds of issues, like people have, uh, women have issues with spiders and men have issues with whatever, daddy didn't love me enough or some kind of crap. Those aren't the subjects. Those aren't the issues relevant to the violence that happens between men and women. Not relevant at all. I'm poor as shit. And for as much as you love to call me a misogynist and say that I shit all over uh, women... Uh, I didn't know you were all of those things. I just thought you were some asshole playing YouTube, okay? So you were just playing an audience. I didn't think you were dumb enough to believe any of this crap. So, but apparently you are an insane misogynist. You are a crazy motherfucker who can't even get the simplest of facts correct. Okay, I mean, he, he did a, a part, one of his jokes was he coughed sexist when I said weaker sex. So again, we're supposed to deny physical reality altogether. All these men with their little dicks, I guess that's how they measure it. You know, they're, they're, the smaller their penises get, you know, the bigger the women get. You know, and now all of a sudden women are all Amazons running around and they're just as big as men and they can beat me up and they're physically capable of holding me down and are at least removing me from them if I'm on top of them. I mean, yeah, let's just fucking pretend that that's reality. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. No, it doesn't. It's a rationalization. It's a pack of shit. It's goddamn an argument so pitiful I wouldn't even blame it on on being five years old, even five-year-olds, if you ask them the question, who's bigger? They're going to get the right answer. And that I come off as a little bit of a jerk on the internet. Women, they like me for whatever reason. Because uh, Right, I mean, yes, that's what I was talking about before, that women are neurotic motherfucking crazy bitches. That's right, they will marry serial killers, some women. There's a, there's a woman who left a comment on my last video saying, well, I don't know who's right and who's wrong, and I don't care, and I don't want to... Blah, 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 blah. They can't even figure out what side of the fence to sit on. So, yeah, you know, they'll, and that's right before they said something like, yeah, it really sucks being physically weaker and, and uh, being capable of being held down and blah, blah, blah. So they can figure that shit out, but then the next minute they'll just say, who, well, whatever. Who knows? No issues here. Just fun, fun, fun. I'm watching people on the internet. Yeah, so women can be dim, motherfucking ignorant cunts. That's true. 
Okay, but that doesn't defend you in this argument because you're being an idiot. Tying it back to intuition, they sense that basically I'm a terrorist. Oh, whatever, this intuition thing has got to go. I mean, really, this has got to go. This, this intuition is not a logical mechanism. It's a fucking reading the book by its cover mechanism. It's the kind of mechanism that gets black men shot on the street for no fucking good reason. It's a fucking idiotic thing. It's the dumbest part of your brain. There. Uh, you know, a softie. A nice guy. Yeah, you are a softie. It is true. You're pudgy and, and wudgy and limp and stupid. Not like, uh, I'm gonna eat Rogers and I'm a nice guy, but like, you know, I'm not gonna mistreat them. I might be a little bit of an asshole, I won't put up with a lot of shit. But uh, yeah, whatever, like I said, if, if the, we were playing the dating game, okay, I, 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 would, I would be whispering, you know, with a little electronic earphone -y thing if my sister was on the game and say, Don't pick number three, stupid cunt, glib motherfucker. He'll talk the talk, but he'll walk on your face. At the end of the day, they sense that I'm not, well, like you. So, I mean, for all the... Yeah, well, whatever. Again, uh, the feeling is mutual. I wouldn't want to be you. I wouldn't want to be near you. I wouldn't want to sleep with somebody who is known you. Uh, yeah, so if you could just write, I, I was there you know, somewhere, just so I can find it before I get too too deep into a situation, I'd appreciate it. What service you give to what a great guy you are and how sensitive you are, I would... Again, lip service, blah, 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 blah. An accusation you can't prove with any evidence that it's just lip service. So, yeah, that doesn't mean anything to me either. I would guess that your issue with women is they are repelled by you. Because you have a similar kind of stench that Elliot Rogers. Has. Well, I don't know. You want to have a competition? It might be a little bit fun, you know, to see how many women we can get to make videos talking about how cool we are. I mean, you want to have that competition? You know, I don't mind. <laughs> it might be fun. Yeah, it might be fun. Yeah, put up some of my swimming videos. As had. Okay, I mean, I don't mean to be mean here, but you did bring this up. And uh, I didn't really, so, but it's fine. Like I said, your meanness is, like, very humorous. This is the funny part of the video for me. So, yeah, this guy's making judgments about my character. Ha ha ha! Yeah, I mean, it's hilarious. Really hilarious. I mean, you're the guy who <coughs> coughed sexist, you know, because somebody recognizes that men are bigger than women. Yeah. I mean... My patience with you has worn a bit thin. Yeah, I hate your fucking guts. Hope you end up getting exactly what you deserve. I hope you get glibbed right the fuck into pancakery. Um, and so are men, crazy motherfuckers. The point, the argue, the point is, is the relationship between men and women. Okay. Yeah, men have all of the. You know, they have they have a little bit. There's a power imbalance. Okay, and that power imbalance has a lot of violence and ominous and extortion and exploitation tied to it. Okay, Gary, since I was being a little harsh with you just a second ago, I'm going to close this video out with a little bit of caring. Ah, uh, super. I sense that it, sometime a long time ago, you were a nice person. You did care a lot about people. Uh, you're wrong, okay? So, yeah, I can, you know, I can get testimony from you. I know I always hated you motherfuckers. You always smelled bad, and from my, by my perspective, you always seemed dumb as sticks. You couldn't figure out the simplest goddamn things. So, yeah, you always seemed pretty retarded to me. And over the course of your life, your travails, seeing the senselessness of what people do to each other and how they treat you despite your best... No, it's not about how they treat me. Again, it was how they treated my sisters that gave me some information about feminism and the need for feminism because I saw men lie to my sisters and compromise the fuck out of them. And I found that really disgusting and pitiful and horrid and disgusting and I wanted them dead. 
And actually, you know what? There was a really great one. Because one of the guys who fucked my sister over in high school plowed right into a tree drunk. And he was dead. And I, I laughed my fucking ass off. And I did a little dance and I said, Good, one son of a bitch got what he deserved. Tensions. At some point it just broke you. It broke your soul deep down inside. No, it didn't do any of that fucking shit. I just was smart enough to figure out you suck, okay? You're a lying ball of pus. And it is lying. For you not to recognize that rape is a reality, that um, the physical dynamic between women and men is a problem, well, that just makes you a liar. Because there's no way you can't know that. There's no way you can know what a microtubule is and not know that women are the weaker sex. I'm just going to tell you that this condition needn't be terminal unless you let it. <clears throat> so, uh... Well, I hope it's terminal for you. I hope your condition is terminal, okay? And I hope um, you get what you deserve. I can't say it any simpler than that. I hope all you motherfuckers get glibly glibbed into the fucking dirty, slimy, pissy poo you deserve to be smashed into. You absolutely suck as human beings, you're absolute monstrous pieces of shit, and I hope you get what you deserve, you piece of shit. Talking shit. So, yes, that's my honest sensation. My honest intuition. And my honest thought.